He has good chances in all five Group 1s at Rose Hill, including star Colt the Autumn Sun in the Rose Hill Guineas before Winks. She is the focus, Waller said. There is no reason to be nervous, though. She's fine, but it's just to make sure that everybody gets to see Winks for the right reason. We're making sure there's never a stone unturned and just trouble free. She does put the intensity of your training or riding to a different level. Or struck, Winks as jockey Hugh Bowman and trainer Chris Waller. Credit. AAP, that's just how she's taken over our lives but, we've learnt to deal with it over the last few years. The Autumn Sun will have a spotlight on him as he continues his impressive Group 1 career in the Rose Hill Guineas but it will resemble the dull early morning light for Winx's gallop on Thursday when compared with the attention Winx will receive. She's in great order. She wasn't out there to do a whole lot on Thursday morning, it was a pretty easy gallop for her, but she's strong Hugh Bowman on Winx, I see the autumn sun still as an immature horse, so the comparisons are unfair, Waller said. He has won four stallion making races so his career is remarkable already but I believe the best is to come, these horses don't come along too often and I have trained a lot of horses and he is right up at the top. But Winx is different again, there are only so many ways you can say Winx is the best you have had and will have. It is hard to imagine any horse getting halfway to what she has achieved. Just consider the fact that George Ryder will almost certainly join the Chipping Norton Stakes and Cox Plate as a race she has won on four occasions. Greats win those races twice, legends might win one of them three times. Loading, I don't want to sound arrogant but Winx only has to hold her position, where she's been the last 10 or 20 starts, let alone 13 starts to win, Waller said, we've just got to make sure she's trouble free, comes home safely, you've always got to respect luck in running and it's a sport so there's always challenges coming through and we always respect them, but ultimately we've got to worry about Winx and she's picture perfect and ready to go, Bowman has liked what he has felt this preparation as Winx won the Apollo Stakes and Shipping Norton Stakes and, remarkably, she remains near her peak as a rising eight-year-old, she ticks all the boxes. I think one of her best performances was here in this exact race two years ago when it was a very heavy track and with an expected wet track on Saturday that just gives us more confidence than we already have. Bowman said, it's really just about going through the process and making sure it's a trouble-free passage for her and I'm sure she'll deliver as she has done for the last four years, she's in great order. She wasn't out there to do a whole lot on Thursday morning, it was a pretty easy gallop for her, but she's strong. What I really enjoyed was after the winning post. Her enthusiasm going over the crossing there at the 1800 meter mark and that's very consistent of her doing that sort of work, I mean there's really not much more to say. Looking forward to the race and looking forward to all the races on Saturday.